Thank you for joining us on Data Cloud Now, where we bring you the latest in all things data in business and industry. I'm now joined by Colin Greaves, Managing Director, UK and Ireland at Experian. Such a pleasure having you on the program today. Ryan, thank you for inviting me today. It's great to be here. Exciting news coming out of Experian. Can you walk the audience through the latest developments from Experian Marketing Solutions? Yeah, definitely. So, well, well first of all, lots of people have heard of Experian, our credit business, uh, how consumers get access to credit reports. I run our marketing services business, which is quite different from how our credit business works. And our marketing business exists really very simply to help clients, whether that's brands or publishers or advertising agencies, understand more about their current customers or prospective customers. If they do that, they can engage with them more effectively. Um, many brands have a sense of a, a transactional relationship with the consumer, but they don't know what's going on in their lives, their behaviors, their lifestyle, their life stage. That's what Experian Marketing Services does. We give a view of how consumers behave and what they're like, likely to be interested in, what they do in their lives. So that's what's great about our relationship with Snowflake, the ability to bring this type of data, the insight that allows those organizations to understand more about their customers to life uh, so they can get access to that data very easily. There's products like Mosaic, which many of our clients will be, uh, and organizations will be familiar with. But equally, we talk in terms of verticals. So I know things like financial services, retail, media, uh, advertising are really key as uh, users of the Snowflake environment. And again, we work with your team really closely to make sure that that type of data in the language that those clients understand can be accessed very easily. So really exciting that can get access, they can get access to this data through Snowflake. Thank you, Colin, for that perspective and, and really that baseline why was it so important to invest in making your core products accessible across the entire data cloud? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the, we, we've got to go where our customers are. Uh, it's, it's, it's kind of simple as that. Organizations have used uh, Experian for many years and shared data with us in a very safe and compliant environment and will continue to do so. However, the reality is Snowflake and, and the cloud environment is, 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 is gone way beyond the notion of early adopters. That clients want to use your environment it's easy to use your environment. The idea that sometimes when they need to share data outside of a cloud environment, they need to go through many obstacles internally, whether that's compliance or regulatory sign-off. And that also drives cost and time. Working with yourselves and putting our data into the Snowflake environment takes all that away. It makes it much more straightforward for a client simply to load data in a safe, secure way and get access to all of the deep, rich insight that we have available ourselves. I want to get a little granular for a moment, if you don't mind. You know, tell us how Snowflake users can access Experian's marketing data sets and how can they use this data to really support their own yeah. business activities? Well, we want to make it as simple as possible. Uh, and we want to make sure that clients get what they need. So the first step is the client will go into their instance uh, of Snowflake. And as I said earlier, the ability to search. So they can search on product names they know. Mosaic is a segmentation tool that describes the UK population in really uh, accurate and, and granular detail. There are versions for financial services um, uh, clients that they can get access to. We have global data sets too, which we can touch on later. But if there are product names they understand, they can easily search for this data. The main point is that, um, or if they're trying to understand uh, specific challenges, uh, whether that's know your customer, um, attribution, measurement, digital activation, a whole range of things that are real live problems for clients to solve. They can search uh, on the instance uh, uh, within Snowflake. Once they've found what they want, they click on the get data uh, button, and then that alerts our Experian, my Experian team and colleagues to basically engage with um, uh, the client. We want to have a conversation because we want to make sure that the data is right for the problem that the client is looking to resolve. So if, if it is know your customer, what are you trying to understand? Why are you trying to understand that? What, what are you really ultimately trying to get from that piece of data and insight? Once we've understood that, uh, we'll contract with the client and then we'll make sure that that data is available through the um, private share uh, capability. So all straightforward, all simple. We're definitely there to help. And again, leveraging the Snowflake uh, technology to make sure it works well. I love that simple and straightforward music to, to the audience here. Well, now I want to take a step back. Um, you mentioned you, really the, the global nature, Experian supports global brands you know, with their marketing needs. How, do other reg how are other regions really leveraging Snowflake's tech stack? Yeah, uh, there, there are two parts to that answer. The, the first is 
many of our clients, and you will know this very well with the Snowflake, are global clients. Clearly, many organizations are trying to solve uh, um, regional issues or regional problems, regional solutions, but also think globally. So a key part of our offering within Snowflake is uh, the data marketplace is a, an offering called Worldview. And it kind of does what it says on the tin. It provides a view of so about 90 countries across the globe. And we talk in quite consistent language around the demographics, the makeup of, of geographic areas within those 90 countries. It's a really, really great solution for solving problems on the ground, but thinking globally. And we run that out in the UK and it will be part of the data marketplace. Beyond that though, we're really keen and pleased that we've got a global relationship with Snowflake. So our colleagues in North America run a similar operation to ourselves, providing their data through the marketplace. They have a great tool called Audience Engine. Uh, that allows organizations to build audiences in the digital ecosystem or, or for the digital ecosystem and distribute and activate those um, across uh, that, that uh, ad tech space. Our colleagues in Australia uh, are also building similar capabilities. So very happy, very keen to have genuinely global solutions uh, within the uh, uh, environment and have those global conversations with clients because that's what they want. Colin, such a pleasure having you on the program today. And I know we've covered a lot. What's next for Experian Marketing Services? There's a long list. Uh, I think uh, we, the data we've talked about and touched on uh, very much is our offline data view. So pretty much a view of every household in the UK and the rich deep data assets and views that we have of those consumers. We all know all of our clients are facing into a challenge around how do you turn that great offline data into online audiences? How can you say, I know about these, these, these customers or these prospects, but how do I find them in a digital environment? That's key for us. How do we translate that offline uh, description into online audiences? So that will be coming soon. Um, and certainly as we face into a cookie-less future, it's critical organizations like Experian can bring that type of data to bear. Uh, but also things like suppressions. It's great to know more about your customers, but about, what about how we cleanse data? How do we make it more accurate so a, can, a client knows exactly that the data that they have is, is doing what it should and is up to date as possible. So I'd say look out for those. Those are the two the next steps, our suppression, our cleansing date capability, and how do we turn that into online audiences in a cookless future? I'm excited to see how it plays out. Colin, no it's such a pleasure having you on Data Cloud Now. Thanks, Ryan. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud Now. I'll see you soon.